Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to find the antiderivative of this exponential function e to the 4x minus 1 divided by e to the 4x plus 1 with respect to x. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let's get started. Uh, the first thing I would like to do here is to divide the top and the bottom by e to the power of 2x. So we have e to the power of 4x divided by e to the power of 2x will give us e to the power of 2x. So to the top, we have e to the power of 2x minus 1 divided by e to the power of 2x, which is simply e to the power of negative 2x, right? e to the power of negative 2x. We do the same thing here. If you divide this by e to the power of 2x, you have e to the power of 2x plus 1 divided by e to the power of 2x is simply e to the power of negative 2x with respect to x. Now we are going to do a kind of substitution here. I would like to let u be equal to e to the power of 2x plus e to the power of negative 2x. And now we are going to differentiate both sides du is equal to the derivative of e to the power of 2x will still be e to the power of 2x times the derivative of the exponent. The derivative of 2x is 2. So we have 2 e to the power of 2x. The derivative of negative 2x will give us negative 2. Then the whole of this will be uh, e to the power of negative 2x with respect to x. You can see we have 2 in common. Or we can simply divide both sides by 2. I think we can do that. So this becomes the u over 2 is equal to e to the power of what? 2x minus e to the power of negative 2x dx. But if you pay attention, e to the power of 2x minus e to the power of negative 2x dx is exactly what we have here. e to the power of 2x minus e to the power of negative 2x dx. So we can confidently replace it with just du. And all of this, remember, we have let it to be equal to u. So we can back substitute. This is the integral of what? The top is just du over 2. We can factor out 1 over 2 outside. Then we still have du divided by u. Right? <coughs> um, yeah, du over du, du over u. And this is nothing but natural log of the absolute value of u, right? So this is equal to 1 divided by 2 times natural log of the absolute value of u plus the constant of integration. The only thing we need to do is to back substitute u. We have u here, which is simply two to the, uh, e to the power of 2x plus e to the power of negative 2x. So finally, this is what we have. 1 over 2 times natural log of the absolute value of e to the power of 2x plus e to the power of negative 2x plus the constant of integration. As simple as that.